Welcome to tutorial 10 using the GPSX Dynamic Parameter Estimator. Most of the dynamic models in GPSX use constant parameter values over an entire calibration time period. For example, the Clarifier Flocculent Zone Settling Parameter is normally set to one specific value as it is difficult to determine changes in this parameter over time due to the challenge involved with obtaining online measurements. If measure data is available for a certain parameter, to more rigorously try to match the measure data, this parameter could be varied with time during calibration. This allows for better fitting of the observed and simulated data and indicates the dynamic response of the parameter. The goal of this tutorial video is to allow users to become familiar with how to use the Dynamic Parameter Estimator, or DPE, in GPSX. Please note that the advanced tools modules are required for users to have access to this function. GPSX has a preloaded starting point layout for this tutorial. Access it by going to File, Sample Layouts, Tutorials, and opening the Tutorial 10 Starting Point Layout. Save this layout under an appropriate name in a different directory. Run a 4-day dynamic simulation with the steady state box checked. The primary effluent TSS graph presents a fairly good fit between the observed and simulated data, but there is still room for improvement. Let's set up the DP so that the flocculent zone settling parameter can be optimized as it varies with time. Switch into modeling mode. Select the optimize button from the main toolbar to open up the optimizer setup wizard. First we will set the total suspended solids as the target variable. Access it by going to Primary, PE, Composite Variables, Composite Variables. Select Next to proceed. Now select the optimized variable, which in this case is a flocculent zone settling parameter. It can be found by going to Primary, Settling, Double Exponential Parameters. Select Next to proceed. Lastly, we will specify the optimization settings, which will be Fit to Data, DPE, and Absolute Difference. Click Finish to complete the setup. GPSX will automatically switch to Simulation Mode and enter Optimize Mode. Note that the new input panel has been created with our optimized variable already set to the optimized type. The target variable has also been plotted on a new graph. Open the input control properties and change the limits to 0.0001 and 0.005 meter cube per gram TSS for the optimized variable. Save the layout and run the simulation. In the DP Settings tab, adjust the time window and convergence criteria and run the simulation to observe the effect. Save the layout. You have now completed tutorial 10 and should be familiar with how to set up the dynamic parameter estimator in GPSX to be used for dynamically calibrating a model in GPSX.